Hello everybody, welcome back to Darkest Dungeon. My name is Bear. Now we've got a couple of new characters this time around in the form of the Hellion and the Leper, as well as our Occultist, or Occultist rather, Watayu. And I am in a bit of an interesting position because I am considering whether or not I should commit Salvigni to any sort of stress relief. Already we have committed Dismas to the drink and I am tempted to send her to the brothel, but of course that would put us in a position where we don't have a, nearly as much healing power as we did in the previous excursion, which of course resulted in quite a bit of success for us. And unfortunately I feel like I am going to have to commit her to something. Having over 50 stress going into a fresh expedition just seems like a it seems like I'm just asking for failure, so I'm gonna go ahead and send her, I think I'll send her to the brothel, because oddly enough, despite her being, you know, a nun of sorts, I suppose the, uh, the Vestal really does enjoy the pleasures of the flesh. So, first of all, we're gonna try to, uh, no, it doesn't look, look like we're gonna be able to upgrade the brothel in any way, we need some more crests, if we can find a way to get them, but, I think we've got enough money right now to where I could definitely go ahead and commit her to this, and I know there's is probably going to be an issue of contention, but I feel like I'm better off playing it safe. Fetch more pillows! <laughs> more pillows. You don't need that many pillows. Two or three pillows max. That's your, that's guaranteeing a best experience in a brothel. Not that I know anything about it. So we've got a pretty interesting layout now in the form of these four remaining characters, and Feroy, who of course is wanting to be in the front lines, and uh, Tar Chartres is another frontliner as well, so it looks like we'll probably want to go back to the stagecoach and pick up this last Vestal in uh, Tornabut, who unfortunately is not that great, not not as good as Salvignia, I would say, but the Mace Bash, you know, it's okay as well, so we'll pick her up and we'll probably bl bring her along for the ride because we only have a... Uh, oops, sorry. Pious and unrelenting. I always hate interrupting him, I feel like a giant scumbag when I do that, but anyway... Uh, yeah, we have three frontline roster members, and obviously we're going to have to have somebody in the back. So we definitely want to get this second Vestal and bring her along, and uh, let Salvigny take a bit of a breather this time around. So I'm pretty happy with this. No need to stick around in the town any further. Let's go ahead and embark and see what kind of quests await us today. So in the ruins, we have two. We have a short apprentice-level skirmish wherein we have to complete 100% of the room battles. We have a medium length cleanse. They can be killed, they can be beaten. This would be pretty interesting. This would give us an opportunity to use a campfire, which we haven't done yet, but of course it would take a much longer time to be able to complete. We also have something available in the Warrens. It's a short skirmish, which we have to complete 100% of room battles as well. All of these are apprentice level quests, so they shouldn't be too difficult. The ones that provide crests, however, the medium length div or uh, the medium length mission here does provide us with some crests. Also gives us a swordsman crest, uh, plus fifteen percent damage with minus eight dodge. This is actually pretty damn strong. We could give that to Feroy. That could be pretty useful. You know what? I'm gonna go and go for this one. We'll go for uh, an opportunity to try to use the campfires here in the form of the cleanse. Complete, completes, complete a hundred percent of room battles here in the ruins. I'm okay with this one. So to set up our our uh, party this time around. I may actually leave Feroy behind. I feel like I might be better off with Chartres and Erquimbor. That is an odd name. I'm going to forget that one unless I say it. Erquimbor! Every single time. Then I might remember. It might be Bore. I'm not sure. But nonetheless, I think she's going to lead the pack. We'll throw Chartres in the second slot. Watteo is going to occupy our third, and he's going to be a kind of a tactician. Uh, although the Sacrificial Stab, of course, may bode well for us as well. We're not going to allow him to before the Hand of the Abyss, but... That's okay, I think it's a fair trade-off for the other options that he's got available to him. So there's that, and then we'll have our healer in the form of Tornabut bringing up the rear. Looks good to me. We're gonna leave Feroy behind this time. In fact, if I'm leaving Feroy behind, I may consider committing him to a stress relief as well. Although he does not participate in anything... Hold on, let's have another look here. He, he will not pray or go to the flagellation hall, the penance hall, rather, for stress relief, so we're gonna have to send him to the tavern in some form. And the gambling hall is all that we have left, so you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and commit to this with Feroy. Let's tempt fortune. That way we'll have him fully ready to, uh, go out on a new quest as soon as we come back, so I think that's a decent idea. So there is our lineup for this particular quest, medium length, and we'll see a little bit about campfires in just a moment here. 
This quest involves camping, and camping requires firewood. Firewood is given automatically to you on appropriate quests. Camping given he gives heroes a chance to recuperate while in the dungeon. While you are wounded or stressed and wish to camp, we can right-click on the firewood in the inventory. So we get one for free, and unfortunately we can't buy another one. That would be kind of night neat. Night and neat, but, you know, what can you do? Probably going to have to bring a lot more food this time around. It's a good thing that we've got some extra money by which to do so. I'm going to go ahead and double our normal resources here. And in fact, I might bring, you know, I'm going to bring about 15 torches. I think that's a pretty suitable amount. One more thing that you guys have pointed out to me that I failed to realize is that I'm underutilizing these extra things as well. For example, the uh, the holy water, the skeleton keys, the shovels, all that sort of stuff. There are a lot more opportunities to use them than I initially realized. So I'm going to try to keep an eye out for those as we go through this time. I'm going to bring one holy water, two skeleton keys, and a couple of shovels. And hopefully that puts us in a decent position. Also considering bringing a few bandages, actually, because our occultist has an, uh, has an ability that allows us to heal for up to a pretty damn good amount, but it does cause bleed guaranteed on our target. So we want to make sure that we have the, uh, the repercussions for that. And I think we're looking good. We spent a lot of money on this, so I'm really hoping it pays due dividends. But nonetheless, let's go ahead and embark. A well-placed supply item can often protect against the hazards of interactive objects you encounter. See, it's telling me right there! How have I not been paying attention to that? That's... that's just... that's just poppycock. The fiends must be driven back. And what better place to begin than the seat of our noble line? Alright, let's have a look at our layout this time around. Complete 100% of room battles is our goal here. Alright, given the layout at the moment, I'm thinking I might want to start out by going down to here. And then we could go for a scouting chance and see if maybe we can determine whether or not there actually is a room battle down this way. And if not, of course, then we'll just have to head down there and make sure there isn't. And then we'll head out over here, try to get another scout on this room, and then just proceed thusly. So, let's start out by going down this way. An alchemy table. Okay, so we have our first opportunity to use an item here that I not or that I haven't taken advantage of in the past. Apparently, a torch used on an alchemy table is a very beneficial thing. So let's try this out. The torch oil helps create a powerful blinding light. Wow, radiant light boosted up. Okay. Uh, looks like that does take away any opportunities we have to use the alchemy table for anything else. But that is still a pretty good uh, use of the resource. First battle today. Three on four, probably in a good position to win this one. Nice dodge to start off. Chartres already making himself useful. Now, Damon's pull. Oh, we can pull our target forward two spots. That is very good. I can't believe I didn't pay attention to how useful this is. I wonder what the chance is. It's two-thirds chance to hit the target. If we can bring her up to the front, that probably negates a lot of her abilities. Ah, she dodged that. All right. Well, still, though, I'm really going to have to look for opportunities to use that one because that seems amazing. Uh, judgment's not really useful at the moment, but Dazzling Light could be nice. The Radiant Light has dwindled a little bit, so let's go ahead and try this out on one of the brawlers. Not bad. Ooh, we got the stun on him as well. That's excellent. Okay, now I've got to... Okay, this today is going to be the day where I make an effort of it. Oh, just going to pull him forward. Ooh, that was... Ew, that's not good. We gotta take care of that real fast. All right, we're gonna have to move him forward real fast. There we go. Okay, as I was mentioning, today is the day where I try much harder to pay attention to which enemies have acted and in what order. So I gotta make sure I'm trying at least to look for that. Now, we have Adrenaline Rush as a self buff here on our Hellion. Uh, plus 20% damage, but her Cure, Blight, and Bleed base is up to 100%. This looks like it's just basically a fantastic spell. Fantastic buff, rather. Maybe we should go for that. We have a stun going next turn. We, we could also go for the Wicked Hack, which is a uh, very small chance to kill, but good damage nonetheless. Hmm. Uh, you know what? I'm going to go for the Adrenaline Rush. I want to see what happens here. Nice. The buff. So, plus 20% damage. That is pretty damn good. Uh, will the Reconstruction? Probably not necessary at the moment. Let's go for another pull on the Acolyte. Got him! Bring it forward! Nice! Very good. Now, hopefully that renders her basically ineffective. Uh, we could go for another Dazzling Light. We could certainly use another Torch Boost, so let's go for that on the uh, Cultist Brawler. See if we can maybe get another stun on him. Or, uh, oh, just kidding. We have to target this one. That's good, too. Stun chance! Got him! Oh, man. The stun is excellent. Okay, she can still do the Stressful Incantation, which I should be concerned about. Stress is obviously a, a very serious issue. All right, he's got himself a pretty damn strong self-buff as well as a self-heal. That bleed is starting to worry me a touch, but we should be okay. 
Knockback with the Intimidate is not entirely useful here, so it looks like a chop is my best my best bet. And we've got a guaranteed kill, nearly a guaranteed kill it looks like, on both of these guys. Unfortunately, the chance to hit is pretty small, so I'm going to go with the guy that gives me a 68% shot. And didn't hit it. Alright, no big deal. Uh, I'll probably do another wicked hack here. Let's go for it. We've got a damage boost as well, so let's hope for the best. This is a high chance. Let's hit it. Okay, the minimum damage, so that's unfortunate. Oh, man. Looks like she can target every member of our party with that tactic. A little bit of stress for the occultist as well. The light grows dimmer. We're going to have to be wary of that. Another bleed. They're moving forward here. They're going to keep swapping places, it looks like. They're stacking the bleed on our Hellion here as well. Divine Grace might be in order. We could also go for another Dazzling Light. We might have a chance to kill the Cultist Brawler, brawler with this shot, so let's go for it. Nice. Surges as the enemy crumbles. And a Stress Relief on our Vestal as well. Very good. Alright, well, unfortunately, he's not in a position to do too much, so I might just go ahead and move him back into his third position so he has a few more options in the future. Uh, this Bleed is gone for the Leper. Now let's go for a Wicked Hack, and the percent chance to hit is greater on him. Oh, man, he needs to get a little bit more accuracy, man. This is starting to kill us. Wicked Hack again here. Oh, keeping them alive by the skin of their teeth, and they're getting the actions first as well. Ooh, okay, so we probably want to go for the Acolyte here. Actually, you know what? Guaranteed kill on the Brawler if it lands. Press this advantage. Give them no quarter. Bombastic! That makes me happy. Blow. Oh, but then they get a crit right back at us. Now the occultist is... Oh, he's starting to feel the effects. Ooh, that worries me. Let's get another Dazzling Light. That's helpful. Got a stun. Okay, so we have opportunities to try to heal if, we like, if we'd like. But uh, honestly, I think the Sacrificial Stab may be my best bet. Fortunately, this is not an Eldritch Monster, but we have a crit modifier on this as well, so we might get a Stress Relief if we can get the kill. Nice! The fiend falls. A faint hope blossoms. Uneducated savage! That was pretty good. Okay. Got a little bit of stress relief for the occultist there. A couple of busts and a torch. Not bad. Let's go ahead and pop one of these right now. Get back up to a radiant light. Alright, that was a pretty interesting first room. Let's hope for, uh... Let's hope for a chance at a scout once we get in here as well. The radiant light is still holding strong. Alright. Good! Excellent. Okay. Ooh, we got a double scout out of that. Alright, well. Doesn't look like we need to move down here, because I don't see a, a room battle. So we're gonna go ahead and head over to this one. This indicates that the room is empty, as far as I'm aware. So going here, I assume we're gonna fight a room battle to try to get to the treasure chest. So we'll head over this way, and see what lies within. I'm gonna take control of... Equimbole! Our Helion again. 275 gold and two food. That's a very good find, actually. Food could be pretty useful. Alright. This looks like it's pretty manageable, but again, it's unfortunate that our, uh... Our party members are all pretty damn slow. We're gonna have to be wary of that. No bleed, please, no bleed. Oh, man. And they are getting pretty lucky with their... With their, uh... Affliction, looks like. Now, do I want to pull her forward again? I feel like that may not be my best bet. With a sacrificial stab... I have a chance at bleed and a pretty high hit chance as well, so let's go for this. Oh, goodness. That's kind of ridiculous. Might be time for some heals. Let's go ahead and get our Hellion back up to decent health territory. And uh, probably going to go for some individual strikes here as well. He doesn't necessarily need to worry about hitting just yet. Although we could go for an Intimidate and knock back one of these characters. In fact, knocking back the Bone Soldier may be in our best interest. Let's try it. Didn't get him. Alright, well, that's still pretty good damage, though. Graveyard Slash. Ooh, that hurt hard. Oh, man, this is... This is starting to worry me a little bit. A breakthrough could be nice here. We've got a pretty high chance to hit in the middle shot. And it could kill him as well. In fact, it's got a decent chance to do so, so let's try it. Nice! Great shot there, and a little bit of stress relief for the Hellion as well. Always good. Another Sacrificial Stab could be in order. We could try for the bleed on the back row, but the higher hit chance is a lot more tempting, so let's do it. Bleed, please. No good. Help me out. Oh, Lord. I do have these bandages. Nice dodge. That helps out a lot. Okay. Dazzling Light? I don't think I necessarily need to be doing that. Judgment's still not in a great uh, position to be done, so Divine Grace is my go-to at the moment. I think I ought to target my Hellion still, because this guy can go ahead and give himself a self-heal if I need it with Solemnity. 
I like this play. Bleed is still stacking. Luckily, it's only one damage per round, so that's okay. The Chop is nearly a guaranteed kill on the Acolyte, and it's a guaranteed kill on the Brawler, but we have a higher chance to hit here, so I'm gonna go ahead and go for this. Nice. Good stuff. A little bit of stress relief for him as well. I may want to try to get her down to a uh, territory where I could use my Occultist to deal the finishing blow. So let's see what, we're, what our options are here. It's a... Uh, you know, it's a higher chance to kill with this shot, but I'm gonna take the gamble. Alright then. That's not too bad. This expedition at least promises success. Citrine and a couple busts. I'll take it as a fitting reward, and we're gonna be looking for some treasure going into this room now. We gotta make sure we're in decent enough shape. In fact, I'm gonna go ahead and let our leper eat a couple of meals here, just to give him a, a slightly better edge moving forward. Now let's do it. All right, a pretty standard fair ruins room battle. We've got a couple of courtiers that we need to deal with. Attempting goblet is going to be a devastating effect if we let them uh, continue using it. So, using the pole could be in my uh, best interest here. We got an equal chance to hit on both of these guys, but this is the one that hasn't used any abilities yet. So we're going to try to make him move forward and force him to use his dagger as opposed to the goblet. Oh, he resisted. Okay, no, not a huge deal. He's gonna be doing that a lot. That tempting goblet, that stress will pile on really quickly. So again, we gotta make sure we're trying to get that, uh... That is a priority moving through the entire fight. Dazzling Light is a good option here. We can target the Bone Soldiers in the front. The Bone Defender, of course, is a huge issue. Pretty high chance to hit. Decent amount of damage, but maybe we gotta focus on the healing again. Honestly, the stress is the biggest issue for me at the moment, so I'm gonna try to get this light back up. Nice! That was probably the best result we could have possibly hoped for, and we stopped the Bone Soldier's attack, so that's a fantastic move. Uh, guaranteed kill if we hit, let's do it. Nice. A little bit of stress relief as well. Dead weight could be bad. Stun and the staggering force of the blow. Alright, so the Hellion is knocked out of the next round. Oh, the first round. Okay, she hadn't had her chance to move yet. Another tempting goblet. Oh, nice dodge! That's really good. Okay, we could go for another pull. Let's try it out. Good damage as well. He resisted. That's unfortunate. Apparently they can use the Tempting Gap. Oh, goodness. Turns. That's no good. That's a big stress pile on. Now our occultist is in really bad shape. Trying to get the, the uh, light back up is still, in my opinion, a pretty good option, but we probably want to focus a little bit more on the heals right now, so let's do it. That's still, still a very, very good resource to have. Now, a breakthrough could be pretty good here. Unfortunately, the chance to hit is not nearly strong enough to justify it, so I'm thinking a Wicked Hack is in order with a chance to kill, but I honestly want to deal more damage to the Bone Defender, so let's try this out and maybe even hope for a crit. All right, not bad. Not bad damage. Uh, chop could be good. Pretty good chance to hit with the Bone Defender again, so let's go for this. Nice. Dealing a lot of damage to him. He's nearly gone. Dead weight's not good. Good dodge, though. They're really trying to knock the Hellion out of contention here. That's unfortunate. Oh Such my god. A terrible assault cannot be left unanswered. He is really close to an ailment check here, man. This is this is starting to worry me real bad. This stress is just gonna keep piling on. I can't let this happen. We've got to focus the courtiers a lot more heavily. It's just the fact that the Bone Defender has such a higher chance to hit. When we get these guys to move up, of course, it's going to be a much easier process. So we took him out, and now we have the Sacrificial Stab available, and we could have a chance to kill at uh, two-thirds rate and try to get our cultist a little bit lower in the stress meter. So let's try this out. Very good. A little bit of relief. Okay, that's what we need. And uh, we can do the same for the Hellion, although... You know what? I can't take the risk. I gotta, I gotta try to go for the damage. Okay, minimum effect. He's probably gonna have the first action. Okay, now we have a chance to kill with the judgment. I think the dimming light actually, you know what? Judgment is probably my best option here. I could go for a heal, but I honestly need to do a little bit of stress relief for the Vestal as well, so let's go for this. Very good. Okay. These nightmarish creatures can be felled, they can be beaten. Plus 10% damage, but minus 2 accuracy for our leper. A couple of busts, as well as a bleeding pendant. Plus 15% chance to bleed skills, and plus 10% damage as well. Wow! That is amazing for the Hellion. We're definitely gonna give that to M. Quimbor. Hell yes. Hellion yes! Ah! Hilarious. Alright, well, he's got some interesting, uh... He's got some interesting benefits with his item set here. Not a problem. Alright, heirloom chest with our family sigil, sigil, rather. Now we can use a skeleton key to guarantee 
some extra bonuses here as well. Four crests and two portraits. Very good. All right, we're going to go ahead and pop another torch and try to get ourselves in a position to scout. Very nice. What do we find? We got a treasure chest up here, an empty room, and some loot along the way. In fact, we're in a really good position moving forward, so let's go ahead and go for it. I like this a lot. I am very happy with our uh, with our current situation. Gonna go ahead and eat, restore that health. That's a good po uh, good proc right there. Salvage an unburned torch, always nice. And I think I want to go ahead and get up to Radiant Lights again. I brought plenty of torches, so I want to try to keep that going if possible. Even the cold stone seems bent on preventing passage. Not a problem for us, my boy. All right, another room battle with the sarcophagus. Now, I do think we have holy water, which we need to use on the sarcophagus in order to get the best benefit. All right, so, first brawler has acted. Gaze oh, my God. Reeling. About to break. That is dangerous. Well, we could go for a weird reconstruction on our occultist, but honestly, Damon's pull may be our best bet. If we could bring the Acolyte two spaces forward, that would help us out a lot. In fact, that would make it so the Bone Defender is unable to act. So let's go for this. Please hit. Please hit. There it is. Very, very nice. Okay, that's going to help us out quite a bit. Now, the Iron Swan. Accuracy base of 80% and a, and a crit modifier as well. Pretty high chance to hit a lot of damage here. We could go for this. Oh, man. That would have been nice. We got a bleed going. I'm probably just going to go for some straight-up damage here. I don't necessarily want to kill just yet, though, because I want to prevent the defender from being able to uh, act in any form this turn. So let's maybe go for the damage on the brawler. Oh, boy. Not a lot of luck. She can still do this stressful incantation, though. That's worrisome as well. Oh, there's a check. Here we go. Give me some benefit, please, Chartress. He's abusive. Oh, no. Even the aged oak will fall to the Tempest's winds. Oh, looks like we're going to be pretty damn close to another check with the Occultist as well. I think I need to go for some heals. Let's try to keep these guys alive. I might want to target my Hellion with the heals. Or not the Hellion, with, but the uh, Leper pretty soon here with the heals as well. Ren for the old gods. Please, no bleed. Thank you very much. I need some help, Aaron Jesus. Give me your... your glorious benefit. Now, the pole could be helpful again here if I can bring the Arbalist forward. That'll prevent the defender from doing anything, even if I kill somebody in the front row. Unfortunately, bringing her to the front really didn't do too much for me, as the stressful incantation is still an option for her. Definitely still need to heal my guys up, so let's target the, uh, let's target the Occultist again, because... If we get an opportunity, we can use the Leper's self-heal to try to get back up into a better position. That's a very good dodge. Oh, uh, please let me do something. Profaning the precious. Alright, here's another check. Selfish. Self let me study the gun effects. At any cost. Oh, this isn't good. Well, self-heal could certainly help us out here. But I think I honestly need to try to take out at least one of these guys to put us in a better position. Hit chance is really good on this guy, but we can deal potentially lethal blow on, on the brawler here. I'll tell you what, we're going to go for it. Nice. Decimated. All right, that's a little bit of stress relief. Not bad. A breakthrough could be good here. What's our chance to hit? 58, 70%. If we even go to the back line, that's pretty good damage across the board, but what's our options with the Wicked Hack? We have a 6 to 13, a 6 to 13 with a 75 and a 62% chance. Oh, I don't know. I think bringing them all down a little bit more may be my best shot. And they dodged it. Oh, God. Well, luckily we had the defender still unable to act. Oh, we might get a knockback. Nice, good resist. Alright, bleed again, but he's still in a position to make some good stuff happen. Now, taking the Acolyte down is probably... The, uh, the best decision here, but unfortunately it's basically a coin flip of whether or not I hit it. But I think we need to try. Nice! Alright, the uh, defender is going to get a chance to do some damage this time around, unfortunately, but we still can go for the heals. Let's do it. Still in decent enough shape. Unfortunately, we have two uh, negatively stressed out characters. Oh my god, what are you doing, man? That's not helpful. Hand from the Abyss. A stun base of 100%, but that does lower our light. Luckily, we have a lot of torches, so maybe we should go for this. Let's see. 
What does that do for me here? I, honestly, that... Well, I mean, it is a stun, so we can prevent the defender from acting if we get the land. Let's try it. Nah, no good. All right. You're not painting a flattering, a flattering picture of your kind. Jesus. Well, luckily, he's already 100% stressed. This could be good for us, actually. All right. So he's stunned next turn, although that's not the worst thing in the world because his... His uh, selfishness is honestly, you know, detracting from the quality of all of our other combatants, so maybe we're better off this way. Now, we got a pretty high chance to hit here with the Wicked Hack. I think I ought to go for the Arbalist because we can handle the Bone Defender by himself pretty easily. Man, that is unlucky. All right. Come on, man. We don't need this. The dodge is not her fault. Bayonet jab. Now, they are landing a hell of a lot. We are... Really gonna have to consider a lot more heals this time around. I'm really glad I brought the Vestal, man. Otherwise, we'd be kind of screwed. Chop on the Arbalist. Nice! Alright. The younger folks should indeed do most of the... <laughs> Son of a bitch. He stressed him out from the kill! Oh, that's terrible. There's some good damage. I'm probably just gonna go ahead and try to heal up. Given this opportunity now that it's a four-on-one bout. But unfortunately, with the stress being a part of it... I'm a little bit more worried. We're going to try for a reconstruction on our occultist. It's a bleed, but 10 heal. Okay, so that's exactly what we're hoping for. That's very good. We have chances to heal a little bit more now. We're probably going to do Solemnity as well. We can give her a big buff and try to get the kill on the next blow. Dead weight. Oh, but not if she gets knocked back. Son of a bitch. The stun. Well, we can still have the option to move back with him if he'll let me, but I don't know if he's going to give that opportunity to us. Let's see. He will indeed. All right. So there's, there's a, uh, there's a promising maneuver. The axe blade again. More heals. Helia needs some help as well, and we'll continue solemnity with our leper because honestly, that just seems like the best bet. That's a guaranteed four, which is always nice. And now we can go for the self buff with the adrenaline rush. Okay. So the next turn, we should be able to land the killing blow with the Hellion. Let's just try to get back up in a decent shape before that happens. Can't staunch the flow. No worries, buddy. You're gonna be just fine. I've done my part. Now it is your turn. Is he passing? Oh, he's moving back. Well then. I'm just gonna go ahead and not let you do that, pal. I'm sorry. More solemnity and then the Hellion may be able to land the, the finishing touch here. Oh, uh, it's actually not possible, but it's a pretty high chance to hit. Very good. Okay, now. Basically a guaranteed kill. I wonder who we want to relieve the stress of. Perhaps our... You know what? A self-heal plus the judgment call for the stress relief on our Vestal is probably our best bet, so let's go for it. Nice. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Got some decent uh, pulls from that as well. Very good. Now, I'm going to go ahead and pop up another torch. The sarcophagus. I believe holy water is what we use here, so let's try it. That item had no effect. How about the torch? Let's try this out as well. That item had no effect. Hmm. Perhaps the key? Let's try. Okay, well, how about the shovel? Worth the shot. That item had no effect. Okay. We're learning. Trying things out. Perhaps a bandage even? No? Alright, let's just open it up and see what's inside. Hidden treasures! Very good! 100 gold and a portrait. I'm happy with that. Alright, looking at our map now, we have treasure guaranteed in this room, but it's also more than likely a room battle. I could camp out here. That's not a terrible option. Because we have uh, five more rooms to potentially go through once this is done with. So I'm going to go ahead and use this opportunity to make camp. A spark without kindling is a goal without hope. Camping consists of two parts, meal phase and skill phase. During the meal phase, you choose how much they eat, which determines recovery. Make sure you have enough food. Skill phase allows you to spend re rest points on different hero skills used for recuperation. So, we have the opportunity right now to do a feast, which uses eight food, but it does relieve stress and gives them a lot more health. So I think I might go that route. Makes everybody a little bit happier with what's going on right now. Now we have 12 time units with which to use some of our skills available with all of our characters. So we're going to search around here and see what the best ones are for stress relief. Uh, for example, we have a 50% chance to re reduce stress by 20 with a quarantine. Although he does suffer 20% of his health damage. So this honestly seems like a pretty good option. Uh, he can reduce his own stress by 20 and boost up accuracy by 10. That's pretty damn good as well. He is pretty stressed out. 
If we can reduce his stress down to zero during this camp, that would be amazing. Heal 20% but removes target bleeding as well. Uh, let's look at our occultist here. Increase stress by 15, but it gives a companion 20% damage boost. Uh, reduce torchlight by 33, but it heals us up. Heal 20% and remove target bleeding for the wound care. I believe they have the same one. Yeah, they do. Reject the gods. Reduces her stress by 25, but increases everyone's by 5. Probably not going to do that. Uh, let's see. Gives him, gives her a boost to some stuff. One companion gets money, minus 25% stress resist. If we uh, give him a pep talk. A little bit of gods will be watching and still in here, isn't it? Blessed to give plus 10 accuracy and plus 10 dodge. And uh, reduces the chance of a nighttime ambush if she's religious with Sanctuary. So, we're definitely going to go for the quarantine here, just to suffer a little bit, but get ourselves a chance to reduce a lot of stress. I'm not well. Well, that was certainly worthwhile. That got us in pretty good condition otherwise. Uh, he can reduce his own stress by 20 and give him 10% or a plus 10 accuracy. So let's go ahead and do that one as well. It doesn't cost too much. Oh, no. Oh, he didn't allow us to do it, this abusive nature. God damn it, that sucks. All right, well... What else can we do here? To reduce the stress by 25, but increases everyone else's. Uh, doesn't look like we have a lot more opportunities to do much good. Sanctuary could be nice. It reduces the chance of a nighttime ambush. I'm going to go ahead and go with that. Let safety be upon us. Let us be veiled in holy light. We have one more point to spend, and we could use that with Reject the Gods. Get her down to zero, but that would increase everyone else's stress, of course. So I think I might just go ahead and pass. We'll go with the rest. It gnaws at the back of my mind, increases stress a little bit more as we fade into darkness. This is not so difficult after all. Why do we not turn back? We have but little the to go match forward. Is struck. A blazing star is born. Back to a radiant light, okay. Time to go for the treasure. Let's do it. We're in a pretty good spot here now, I think. Well, I think we'll be okay. Stashed heirlooms. Another portrait, not bad. Cleared out a little bit more inventory space as well, so that's always nice. Alright, we can use another torch here. Let's go for it. Excuse me. As the ah. light gains purchase, spirits are lifted, and purpose is made clear. So you know, a little bit stuffed up there, my apologies. Alright, I'm expecting a room battle here. Oh, we didn't switch our party order! Oh, that was a critical error. Oh, I should have done that before. My bad. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and switch this now. Not too huge of an issue, but we do miss out on an opportunity to get the occultist switching these guys around. That could have been nice. Not game over, Vestal. Come on, you're gonna be fine. All right, at least they're tempting, uh, well, then again, I honestly might prefer it if they tempted our leper and our occultist right now. Uh, let's see, we can't target these guys. We could go with a revenge buff or a little bit of a self-heal. We could intimidate and try to knock back to get these guys up to the front to be vulnerable to the Hellion. Let's try that out. God, the chance to dodge was so small there, that's unfortunate. A breakthrough could be good here as well. It's got a pretty high chance to hit on the front line. It does a significant amount of damage to all of them, so let's try it out. Oh my god, the RNG! You bastard. You absolute bastard. Why are you doing this to us? Right, the bump of the night's not too terrible. We're gonna go for some heals on our Hellion, though. We might want to go for some Torchlight. Ah, uh, you know what? We don't need Torchlight this time around, but a Judgment could be helpful, too. These guys, luckily, are not very difficult to deal with. It's these two in the back that we really just need to get to immediately. Because that stress is just going to kill us. As wheat from the chaff. I don't, even, I don't even know what that means. How does that stress you out? It doesn't make any goddamn sense. Oh, up to 70. 96 now. Good lord. Oh, this is not looking good. We have got to take these guys out really quick. Now, if I can pull them forward, honestly, that probably wouldn't be the best bet. Let's try to stab them. All right. No chance for bleed, unfortunately, but better than nothing. A judgment could be good here as well. Let's try to take her down. God damn it. All right. We're probably going to go for the breakthrough. Her health is looking pretty slim, but this is still our best shot. Nice. Good damage. Okay. The younger folks should indeed do most of the work. Oh, he's going to do a check. Come on, come on! Masochistic. Those Nothing refreshes the spirit. Injury, find it in no short supply. Oh my god. Well, I still like the Intimidate, so let's try it out. Good kill, okay. A little bit of stress relief. Moving forward, but unfortunately we're in just... 
really bad condition stress-wise. That's... That is just really unfortunate. Oh my god. Oh, it got all the way back to our Vestal as well. She might be on death's door. Perched at the very precipice of oblivion. Good god. Well, probably gonna have to go for some heals, I guess. Every wound and scar is a blessing. Are you absolutely kidding me? Refusing the heals. Oh my god. Well, there's a kill at least. Oh man. She really wants to die. I don't know if she's even gonna let me do anything. Alright, well, we get to at least strike a blow here. That's a pretty small chance to land, unfortunately. Well, let's try for the rabble. Nice. Alright. Come on, man. Come on, buddy. Let me see that chop. Let's do it. Oh, come on! It's a coin flip and I lost it. Sacrificial stab may still be the best bet, but we might be able to get her to heal with the weird reconstruction. She resisted the bleed and got 7 health. Okay, so we've got her back. We've got her back for now. Kept her out of death's door for the time being. She probably won't accept that, so let's maybe go for a dazzling light. No, honestly, let's go for the divine grace on our on our leper. For the people who will at least be cooperative still, goddammit. Wicked hack. Pretty decent chance to land. Let's see it. Alright, good damage, good damage. We could kill here. We could kill here with a stab from our cultist as well. What do we get? A chop. Let's go. Oh, come on now. I really need a hand. Still targeting the Hellion back in Death's door. And now the true test. Hold fast or expire. I think we want to do the reconstruction again. Back from the edge, comrade. We can do this. We can still do this. She's got the bleed and healed for one. Wow. Well, that's terrible. Let's see if she'll accept the heal this time. Nice. Good. Okay. That's better than nothing. Three more rounds of that, but we could get the kill. Very good. Whew. As victories mount, so too will resistance. We got another holy water. We have a skeleton key. Let's might well, might as well use it. Hidden compartment. Okay. Four crests, four busts. Now! Here's the thing. We may want to bail. We honestly may want to bail, because right now... I do not like my chances. With all of us stressed out, she's in dire straits, she's bleeding. Well, you know what? Actually, we have a chance for our Vestal to become enlightened, but we're taking a really big risk moving forward like this. We've already scouted this out, so we can scout the trap, tell you what. We'll go for the trap. We'll go for the trap. And if we can't... If we can't get through that... Honestly, I, I think we may... We may be... Oh, wait a minute. We need, we need to move back to this room, don't we? That's right. Okay, so we need to go back through the hallway. Hopefully don't run into a random encounter here. That would be really awful. Running low on food as well. That's what... That's one of the, uh... That's one of the big issues at the moment. Okay, let's bump up this light again. She's refusing to use a torch. Well, he'll do it, I'm sure. The light, the promise of safety. Okay, I'm taking a little bit of a gamble here. Contains some loot, a little bit of medicinal herbs, all right, and some gold extra as well. I'll take it. Now, we need to disarm this trap. If we don't, we're, uh, we're screwed. Okay. Well, you know what? Let's go to this room, because I'm not sure what to expect from it. I might as well give it a whirl, I guess. Sarcophagus and a blood letter. We surprised them! Okay, we have a chance. We have a chance to win this. Now, I realize now as well, the blood letter occupies two slots in the, uh, in the fight. That's why it seemed to me that he was, like, blocking opportunities sometimes, so I get that now. Okay. I've really got to make some magic happen here. What can we do? The Iron Swan! That is an excellent option. 65% chance for the Fusilier. Yes! A Judgment could kill. We could pull him forward as well. That's honestly not the greatest option, though. Let's go for the Judgment. Here we go. Oh, come on! We have more options, though. He just attacked out of nowhere. Oh, my God. That is... oh, that is really unfortunate. Okay. She's gonna have a stress check. It's almost a guarantee. Well, let's see then. 
What can we do? An Intimidate. We can knock him back. 78% chance to hit. Let's try it. Knock him back. He resisted. Okay. I'm guessing he's gonna get a chance to strike. Blanket fire. That's some damage. Death's door for our Harlan. Or our Hellion, rather. I still think we could get through this. If we can hit with the Iron Swan again. Crawl from the mud and die in the rain. God damn it! Oh, are you kidding me? The walls close in. The shadows whisper of conspiracy. Four resolves tested and a 0% chance of success. That is just insane. Oh, really unfortunate. We're gonna have to go for the chop. Good damage though. Okay, so the blood letter's feeling weak. I think we need to go for a Damon's pull, although he's already had his action, so honestly we might want to try for something else. Let's try to get her healed up. God, you son of a bitch. Not letting me do it. Slice and dice. Death waits for the slightest lapse in concentration. Because what we needed right now is a critical strike from the enemy. Absolutely. Oh my lord! RNG Jesus is just spitting on me Injury as we speak. Despondence. Set the stage for heroism or cowardice. I feel like we may be losing our Hellion here. The Blood Whip may be the end of us. I long to bleed. She's, she demands a turn. And she's gone. And then there were three. Oh boy. Alright, well. Here goes nothing. Thank you! Oh my god. We finally got that. Okay. I still think we can win this fight. And this may be the final fight of the quest, so we may get extremely lucky here. Let's see. Nope. We sure aren't. We sure aren't getting extremely lucky. Hands from the abyss, perhaps, with a sun-based chance, but I can't target him, sadly, so maybe we go for the pull. Get the cutthroat back in the front lines. Is that our best shot? What's our damage look like here? 75%? Not nearly enough to kill. But we can target him as well. Hmm. I don't know why I thought this had a bleed chance. I, I was totally wrong in that respect. Tell you what, we're gonna pull him forward. If we can do so. Nice, okay. That may give, give us some help. Good dodge. Rain of whips again. That's probably some bleed. A little bit more. I have bandages if I, uh... Get an opportunity to use them. I ought to do so right now, actually, if our leper gets the chance. I probably want to go for a heal, actually. I'm going to keep him out of death's door. There's a presence here, dark and foul. Alright, let's try to heal him up. At least he accepts it. Unlike some dead people. Alright, not a huge deal. Knocked him back, though. Wow, we have our occultist at the front line now. That's unfortunate. Luckily, we can still chop, and we can still go for the kill here as well. I think I might want to do it. Slightly higher chance to hit, and this is a guaranteed kill. Good Prodigious stuff. Size alone does not dissuade the sharpened blade. Let's try something else as a learning experience. What is he doing? Just missing with a knife. Well, that sucks. Now, do I want to go for judgment? I think I ought to self or uh, do some heal still. Try to keep our leper alive. We're okay right now, to be honest. Although, well, that's unfortunate. Another bleed. I need to use bandages. What am I doing? Bandages on these fools. Did I use them all? I don't I don't know if I have the opportunity right now. The abyss. There we go. Okay. Keep him alive. Honestly, I think we'll be okay. Now that, we're, now that we're not bleeding, I think the Vestal will have an opportunity to go before the enemy. But then again, what's our hit chance? It's 15% or 51%, so I might as well do this. I think that's probably the safest play. Okay. She doesn't she doesn't necessarily need to take a bandage right now. That's only only one more point of damage. So a judgment could be good to heal as well. Let's try this. Very good. That is helpful. <sighs> this fucking guy. Come on now. We can do this. We can still make this happen. Another stab. Good damage. Okay. Do we heal or do we go for the kill? I say we heal. I say we try to get a little bit in a little bit better of position in the next fight. No bleed on that. You missed on purpose. Is she accusing the enemy of missing intentionally? It's an interesting decision. Alright, well, 
Still taking these opportunities. I'm gonna go for the, set, the stab on this guy. Pretty high chance to hit, and it's a guaranteed kill. Let's see it. Well okay! So uncivilized. A well then. Victory, but a victory nonetheless. That was a pretty damn good, uh... Spoil. From this here. Wow, another bleeding pendant for our Hellion and two deeds as well. Tell you what, let's use this. In Radiance, may we find victory. And then can we clear out a little bit more space? We could eat all of our food. I don't know if we necessarily want to do that. Tell you what, we're gonna go ahead and, uh... Well, hold on, hold on. Can we discard? Let's get rid of the medicinal herbs. Let's do that. Get rid of this, take the deeds. That's probably for the best. Now we'll check this out. Contemplates mortality? Man, that sucks. Alright, well we have a radiant light. We're scouting ahead. We have to make it all the way there. I don't like it. I don't think we can make it, guys. We got a bail. We got a bail. I'm sorry. You will endure this loss. And learn from it. But we did get quite a bit from that. In fact, I think we might have balanced out the cost of the mission. Or the, uh... The adventure, rather. With the treasure we collected. So I think I'm okay with this. I consider this a minor defeat. Because we have got to take care of these guys' problems as well. Faithless will not pray, but a plus 10% stress heal. Walteu, wield adventurer. Alright then. Sickly. Well, not too terrible. Not too terrible. That was difficult. That, that did not bode well for me. Once our estate was the envy of this land. Dismus is moving sluggishly after a long night of drinking. Oh no. But he has recovered stress. We're probably not going to bring him out into the fray again. Equimbor met her fate, though. Well, that went all right. I'm okay with that. Next time in the YouTube where 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 state, we check the stagecoach. We see what kind of new accompaniment we may have. Thanks so much for watching this episode of Darkest Dungeon. I'll see you next time.